So Sean asked if I got the research tab in my analytics yet. I have not. I'm really waiting for it to show up. Oh, Doug's got the research tab. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So Doug's got the research tab. That's awesome. So congratulations to you, Doug. <laughs> I, I feel there's a video in your future, right? Coming out uh, coming out with that one. Yes, I am making a video on it. G'day, welcome back to the channel. My name's Doug, and today we're looking at the new research tab in YouTube Analytics. Now, this is gonna seem slightly familiar. When we get into it, you'll see why, but it's basically a keyword research tool that YouTube have provided within the YouTube Studio. So let's crack in. So how do you find it first of all? Well, you're gonna be on your YouTube dashboard and you're gonna to wanna to go to analytics over on the left-hand menu. And then you can see across the top here, you've got your usual tabs, but the very last one is research. So click on that and then we're in there ready to go. If you have a look here, you see at the top it says, explore what viewers are searching for on YouTube. Use this tool to research some of the top searches from viewers on your channel and across YouTube in the last 28 days. There's a learn more button. We're gonna dive into that in a sec. But then below that, you can see the first tab, searches across YouTube. This is basically where we have a search tool. We can put in a search parameters, something we're searching for, a phrase, whatever we're looking for, we can pull that up. Second tab is your viewer searches. Now what this is gonna give you is a series of words or phrases that people who have been watching your channel have searched for. What you'll find here is a lot of irrelevant stuff, but you might find some gems in the rough. Here as well, you can set some search parameters. We can see all searches, or we can only look for what's called content gaps. It's a thing that YouTube thinks it might be an opportunity for your channel that you're missing out on right now. So content gap. We're gonna leave it on all. The other search area is by country. The specific countries that is available to search at the moment geographically is Australia, Canada, India, United Kingdom, United States. All is just all of those. If you're in a country that isn't in that list at the moment, then this research tab is not gonna work on in your locality in the sense of looking for meaningful results in your area, particularly if you're focusing on content that is local. And the third tab, of course, is the save tab, where you can actually save by clicking on the little bookmark, you could call it, uh, in any of the other two sections, it'll actually save, I already saved a few things here. So let's jump back to the top. I'm gonna click on learn more really quick. We're gonna open that up and see what YouTube has to say about understanding research insights. This is what it has to say about those three areas. A little bit like what I've just explained. Search across YouTube. This report allows you to explore the top search topics made by your audience and viewers across YouTube over the last 28 days. I think this is gonna be the most meaningful section. You can also view content gaps and the search volume for each term ranked low, medium, and high. You wanna know people are looking for it. So the high, ideally, low, not so much. One thing, that this tool isn't doing that say something like TubeBuddy or vidIQ might be providing is competition. This is only giving you search volume. The viewer searches, which is a section we're gonna look at in a second. This report shows you what search terms your audience and viewers of similar channels are searching for on YouTube over the last 28 days. So it's gonna pre-populate a whole bunch of words and keyword phrases that people have used to look for stuff in the search, particularly based on the viewers who've come to your channel. These are also ranked as low, medium, high, so you know the search volumes. And then the save section is the section where the ones you've clicked uh, the bookmark to save them have been saved to, so you can come back and look into that a little bit deeper. Let me show you that second tab. We had a look briefly, but what I found is when I'm searching, this is all stuff that isn't related to my channel, like cow, vlog, Capricorn, poems, Pakistani reaction, Kinemaster video editing. Maybe that's something I could look at. Here we go, video editing apps. See, this is useful and also it's been identified, as you can see, as a content gap. If I hover over the question mark, it tells us understanding content gaps. A content gap is a way of measuring what viewers are searching for and the results they find. 
a content gap can happen when viewers can't find any results for their searches, viewers can't find any, an exact match for their searches, viewers can't find relevant videos for their searches. For example, the content is old or low quality. There's gonna be a time when a video that gets a certain age is gonna need to be remade. So if you've made it before, you might wanna remake it again. If you haven't made it, if it's your first time, you might wanna make it first time. You may wanna use a content gap as a starting point to research videos that don't exist or could be improved. I'm gonna bookmark that one, video editing apps. I am actually working on a video that is somewhat related to that coming soon. But I bookmarked a couple of things there. Now if we go to the first tab, the first tab is more of your traditional search tool. So we're gonna go, searches across YouTube. So now I'm gonna go with a topic that I know that is something that I'm going to look after or something that I cover on my channel. So we could look at YouTube moderation. And I can see it's offering me two, it's offering me YouTube moderation and Roblox. I'm gonna click just YouTube moderation. It looks like there aren't any results. That probably means that people are doing a search using the search bar in YouTube for that best video editing app on uh, iOS. Here we go, we've got some options here, what people are looking. Now they're low for search volume, interestingly, but the, both of them are coming up as content gaps. Best video editing app for iOS, best video editing app iOS. I could make something along those lines, but maybe it won't perform in search or it'll, it'll do okay in search, but just won't get a lot of traffic because of the low search volume. If I'm interested, I could possibly bookmark it if I wanted to. But what I'm gonna do is jump to the, the third tab, which is the save tab. Like, what can you do with this information? What additional things is YouTube gonna show you? So if I pick one of these, see copyright claim on YouTube video. It's got a high search value. A lot of people are asking about copyright. Stay tuned, I've got some stuff coming on that. Here, I can unsave it. I can report, I can go to Google Trends. So I'm gonna right click on that, open a new tab. So that's gonna open the background. But what I can also do is just click on the search term itself and it's gonna show me a window of that search term using the search bar on YouTube and start showing me what videos are ranking. So I know what my competition is doing, what thumbnails they're using, what titles they're using, how long ago did they publish it, how many views did they get. Now all that information is here right now. And I can see straight away, Film Booth has got the top ranking video for that term, copyright claim on YouTube video. And we've got one from vidIQ. So some of this stuff is a year old or more. Some of this stuff does seem dated, so maybe more information, more videos on copyright on YouTube are warranted. Maybe I could make that video. That I can learn more from that. I can dive into those videos and just glean whatever information I can from that. Now, if you notice back here, we did copyright claim on YouTube video. I clicked and opened Google Trends. And so I can use Google Trends to see the sort of search volume over the last 12 months on YouTube search in particular. This is Google Trends, which is a separate product that you can use. The research tab is linking out to this. So you can instantly jump to that with the search term that you might be wanting to check out. Now, I don't wanna get into a deep dive on Google Trends, but it is linked. It'll take you to Google Trends if you find something that is of interest. And so this is right now in some what of an experiment. They've got a little send feedback button here, which is basically telling me that they're wanting feedback so they can improve this tool. So if you use it and you have some ideas of how YouTube could improve it, then make sure you use the send feedback tool to send the feedback to YouTube and they'll help build a better tool for all creators in the future. And of course, I'm gonna be interested in checking out some of these content gaps to see if there's an opportunity for me to fill in a gap and get some views and cover a topic that nobody else is covering yet people are looking for. I'm interested to see how you might want to use a research tool. So let me know in the comments if you've got the research tool on your channel already or whether you're still waiting for it. I believe you need to be in one of those countries, Australia, India, Canada, United States, United Kingdom. So if you're in one of those countries, let me know. You should probably have it or you should be getting it soon. If you're not in one of those countries, let me know if you have it or not. And if you do have it, let me know how you've found it so far particularly using the search tool. I think the search tool on the first tab is probably the most meaningful if you have a video topic in mind. 
I'm gonna be coming at you very soon with more YouTube features that are being announced as they get announced. You can check out some of the other ones like this one right here. Well, this is Doug and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.